This is the Intel Nuke from... Wait. Sorry. Scratch that. This is the Intel Nuke from 2016. A very small but very capable little machine. This particular model is rocking the Intel i3-6100U processor, 8GB of DDR4 memory and a 128GB NVMe drive for storage. On the back there are two USB 3.0 ports, a full-sized HDMI port, a 1GB Ethernet connection, and a mini display port. The side has a SD card reader, and on the front two USB ports as well as an audio jack port. Even though it is from 2016, you can see that the sticker on the front was still there. As I'm really curious to see the insides, I thought it would be best to open it up so we can see. We can easily take the bottom of the machine apart by the four screws that are there. I sped up this process, so you don't have to wait for me here. On the bottom of the case you can see a cooling pad was installed. This will help the NVMe drive stay cool as it used the bottom of the machine as a kind of heat sink. Here we can see the one stick of DDR4 memory, then we have the NVMe drive, and next to that an additional SATA port, which can be used together with a connector cable on this small plug, you see here to allow power for the SATA drive. This is generally only there for the bigger models, but the motherboard is the same as in this one. Booting this Intel NUC is actually very quick, as the NVMe drive makes for very quick storage. Once booted up, Windows responds snappy and good, making it a great little workstation for day-to-day -day tasks. However, you probably wonder the same as me here. Can you game on this Intel NUC from 2016? And if so, what can you play on a resolution of 1920 by 1200? All I can say is, let's find out. We will start with the game called Counter-Strike Go. Here somehow again my overlay didn't work for the frames, so I'm going to have to go with my gut here. The gameplay was doable but not amazing. We are running Counter-Strike with the full resolution, but all settings on low, I would say we are seeing here on average a frame rate of 30 to 35 frames per second. It is playable, but just not as smooth as you would want. Moving on to the game called Valorant, this game ran actually pretty okay, but we can see that the GPU is having very high usage, and again the frame rates aren't all that amazing but for sure playable. Here we could see an average frame rate of around 35 frames per second, with a maximum frame rate of 50 frames per second and minimum frames per second we saw was 22. Overall a playable experience. And as the last game we are testing the game called League of Legends. This is one of the eSports games that I've always liked but haven't played for quite some time again. This game actually ran amazing on the recommended configuration, meaning that we had an average frame rate of 67 frames per second, a maximum of 73 frames per second, and a minimum of 56 frames per second. As you can see from the frame rate, this game was very stable and for sure very playable, even though this machine is only running internal graphics from the processor. Hopefully you all liked this video and it cleared up any doubts you might have had regarding gaming on an Intel NUC. Please leave a like or subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.